Technically, you are not supposed to clean your chicken, but blacknically, we're going to do it every time. This is how you know your chicken is seasoned. Once it starts to change colors, if it is still white looking, it's not seasoned enough. I see y'all in the comments, my video. Y'all watch this stuff. I do my thing in the kitchen. My name is Cord, I'm for the culture, and I'm here with a vision. We here to talk, chop it up. They say the odds are stacked against us. <laughs> we ain't seen that bet. And the things we do in kitchens, y'all ain't seen that shit. Yes, Lord, let me talk. Listen, man, we here for a good time, not a long time. Matter of fact, we here for a great time. You now turned in the Kitchen Culture Podcast. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. So before we get started with today's recipe, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you ain't already subscribed so you can be locked in with the fam and you can be up to date on all new recipes. And then, if you like the video by the end of this video, please hit the like button. Please hit the like button. Just share it with like a couple people. All right? All right, let's get started though. All right, so first things first, with our chicken, it's a big debate in the culinary world. Do you clean your chicken? Do you not? I prefer to go ahead and get any sort of slime and excess off. Do with that what you will. All right, so to clean this off, we're gonna get, of course, some water, and then we get some lime or lemon juice. And then if you have it, get you some vinegar or apple cider vinegar. All right, so first things first, we're gonna go ahead and squirt our chicken with some lime juice. So, you know, technically you are not supposed to clean your chicken, but blacknically we're gonna do it every time, every time. All right, if you know, then you know. All right, get some water. Now, if you have a fresh lime or a fresh lemon, then you can go ahead and rub it on the chicken. But, you know what I mean? Just kind of fill it out. Make sure you don't have any, like, feathers on it or anything like that. And then set this aside on your cutting board. Let's get into these ingredients real quick. So, not too much that you're going to need on this. Not too much. So, we got our... Chicken wings cut in the drumettes and flat. And also we're gonna pack these dry. You wanna get rid of any sort of moisture that's left in it from the water, all right? We got some all-purpose flour, some cornstarch. So for our seasoning, you're gonna get some Weber's kicking chicken seasoning. All right, so of course, I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all know her. Uh, so this is my homie, Kimmy. Kimmy's creation is her, uh, yes, that much seasoning. We're gonna add this as well. It's a garlic and herb seasoning, so if she sells out pretty quick, but I'll put the link in the description below for y'all. Uh, you can use any sort of garlic and herb season. All right? Smoked paprika. Uh, I'm always say, if you're gonna use paprika, get smoked paprika instead of regular paprika. I don't know if you grew up the same way that I did. To me, regular paprika, it's just like a decorative tile at the end of the day. Like, it, it don't really have too much benefit outside of looking good. All right? Some unsalted lemon pepper. And anytime that you fry it, anytime you fry it, mustard is, essential is key all right and for our sauce we got honey and a little bit of tiger sauce tiger sauce is like good sweet and spicy kind of vibe but yeah you'll see on that all right so let's get into it so what we're gonna do is cut this into drumettes and flats right or we're gonna cut this into drums and flats comment below what's your favorite part drums or flats i'm a flats man um it's actually easier to eat in my opinion right so what we're gonna do is find the weak point in the wing tip and the flat and just take a knife cut it now pro tip whenever you're using a cutting board and you don't want this to slide around everywhere i have a wet paper towel under this all right so to keep everything in place and then the same thing so you're gonna find the weak spot in the joint right there all right cut now i don't really measure myself when i'm cooking i don't really measure you know what i mean i use the discernment of the ancestors you know you just kind of know when to stop but if you need measurements that'll be in the description box below for y'all all right so we're gonna get that mustard come through with that kicking chicken and since we battering these wings you can kind of be a little bit generous with the seasoning because some of it is gonna get lost in the process of frying all right yes that much seasoning we're gonna add some of that on in that smoke pap and I know you might be thinking damn that's a lot of seasoning I promise you it's all gonna work out in the end you know what I'm saying yeah all we're gonna do from here just go ahead and get your hands in there 
So this is how you know your chicken is seasoned. Once it starts to change colors, if it is still white looking, it's not seasoned enough. Keep going. So what we're gonna do now is just let this marinate in the fridge. Give it about 30 minutes to an hour if you got that much patience, or you can go straight to the next step. But for better flavor, go ahead and marinate for a little bit. All right, so for our dry batter, this is all we're gonna need, right? So we're gonna get a cup of some cornstarch, and we're gonna get a cup of some all-purpose flour, all right, we're gonna use the exact same seasonings from the chicken that we uh, into this dry bag. All right, so. So the idea was seasoning up the flour and the chicken. Even if you ain't sauce this up, it'll still be good enough to eat all by itself. And again, just like the chicken, your mixture should not be pure cocaine white. I don't know if you can say that on YouTube, but like, yeah, you want you, it needs to change colors a little bit. So you see the little red specks, you see the seasoning specks, that's what we want. So the process of getting this chicken battered is real simple. So you see flavors are set in and everything like that. We're gonna go ahead and put our chicken in to our seasoned flour mixture. And then all we're gonna do is make sure it's coated really well on both sides. So pat that flour and seasoning on in. All right, and that's all you do. Just shake off the excess as well because you don't want that to drip into your skillet when, you, when you're frying everything, right? So we're gonna set this onto a wire rack to rest uh, just so that way the coating can adhere to the chicken a little bit more. All right, and then just repeat that process until you got all your chicken coated. All right, so what you wanna do, you can either get you a chopstick or the more practical way, the excess flour that you had, go ahead and just sprinkle a little bit. You see it start to bubble like that? That's how you know it's ready. So we done brought some vegetable oil up to temp, all right? So it's gonna be about 350 to 375 degrees. And our chicken from earlier that we coated, I'm gonna go ahead and drop this in. Drop it away from me, but first, I'm gonna tease that oil, get it ready. Ooh. Now you wanna social distance these just a little bit, just so that way they fry. Okay. The slight social distancing, okay. Ooh. Boom. If you got to, don't be in a rush. Don't be in a rush. Nobody likes me in a rush. So I'm gonna just fry these in batches if you need to. Because if you over fry your pan, this is not gonna fry properly. So go ahead and let that go for about 10 to 11 minutes each side. And then we'll take it on out. If you're rocking with the recipe, then I know you're gonna love this, all right? So this recipe is also in my newest cookbook, Kitchen Culture. All right, so we got 90 recipes. Y'all look at me, hey. All right, so we got anything that you could imagine, right? So we got Nashville hot chicken sandwiches. What else? Let me just crab oil ramen. You know, we got a whole snapper. Just anything you could think of. So the link will be in the description box below. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get back to the recipe though, all right? So this has to look right here. Crispy. All right, so what we're gonna do is just set this on a wire rack. Or you get a paper towel on a plate and put it on there. But the grease will drip off better from the wings if you put it on a wire line. So the wings, they finishing on up. Last little batch. All we gotta do is make our sauce. So we're gonna get some honey. Just get a gang of honey off in there. Right? A little bit of tiger sauce. So that's gonna give us a nice little kick. You know what I mean? So we add a little bit of that in there. And just some unsalted lemon pepper seasoning. And you're just gonna go ahead and mix that up. We're done, that's, that's the sauce. All right, so we're gonna take our wings, just dump these on in real quick. Oh, okay, well maybe not like that, but. 
Now we're just gonna go ahead and get our sauce. I'm just gonna toss these around like your sneaky link, right? So we're gonna have two, two, yeah. You still know I'm still crispy with the sauce in it though? Do you do this? And we're just gonna go ahead and finish it off with a little lemon pepper sprinkle. Sprinkle, don't pour it. So, do a little, do it. This is why I say flats over drums, right? So, you get your flat. I figured out in the comments on the video. That was a lot of good But, all right, so if you enjoyed the recipe, look, go ahead and head out to the stove, get the ingredients, tag me on Instagram, TikTok, whatever you see in the song. And then also, hit that subscribe button so you can keep up with all the recipes and everything that's coming. Hit that notification bell. And then if you like the video, hit that thumbs up button and like the video, all right? But I'll catch y'all in the next recipe though. Yes, Lord, let me talk. <laughs> you tuned into the Chef Cool in the Kitchen. We're here for a good time, not a long time. Matter of fact, we're here for a great time. Yes, Lord, let me talk. <laughs>